Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again. I've got something a little bit different for you this evening. Uh, first things first, apologies for the atrocious thumbnail. Uh, I thought I'd made this video yesterday, went to uh, to upload it, and it turns out I hadn't actually made it yet, so I had to kind of rush just to get something thrown together in uh, the last, like, 10 minutes or so, but unfortunately uh, that is the case, but as you can see, uh, actually the top picture is the car, the black Ferrari that I drove, and then uh, at the bottom is a yellow version of the uh, the Lamborghini Gallardo that I drove on uh, a track day. It wasn't necessarily a track day as such, as in on a track, it was just, you know, some sports cars on an airfield, so, uh, you know, the, uh, the stereotypical kind of give some people some money, get to drive some supercars around a uh, an airfield quite fast. Uh, I bought the uh, the videos from the actual uh, day itself, although <laughs> in the video the uh, the footage seems, or the footage from inside the car is kind of unimpressive, but believe you me, when you're in the car driving, slamming your foot to the floor, you really do feel the acceleration in, uh, in these supercars, or sports cars I guess, they're not really supercars as such, not like a 458 Italia Ferrari or you know a Lamborghini Aventador etc, but still, uh, really really nice cars, I've got a short, short vlog at the beginning, and then uh, you know the onboard video from uh, the, firstly the Ferrari F430, and then secondly the Lamborghini Gallardo, unfortunately the footage from the R8 uh, corrupted itself when I had to convert it from, uh, from one file to the other, so unfortunately can't bring you that but just something different well uh, you know we kind of have some filler content between now and FIFA 15 hope you enjoy if you do feel free to drop the video a like and uh, I'll see you next time a Lamborghini yellow convertible Gallardo here there's also a blue one over there on the far side coming down that straight and a red Gallardo here uh, just the other side of the red Gallardo you can see the back of it there that's an Audi R8 I think it's the 4.8 not the 5.2 V10 I think not entirely too sure though, just the other side of that there is a yellow 360 Medina uh, Ferrari and going around the, no, just the other side of that then you can see the Porsche at the back end for the Porsche 911 Turbo and then at the far end is a black Ferrari F430 uh, and just going around the track at the far side in the silver, I'll show you when it gets closer up, is a Maserati uh, Gran Turismo, Maserati GT Pretty epic cars to be completely honest I'm not too sure whether I'll be able to do any filming closer to the cars or not, whether I'll be able to show you much. But they sound amazing when they take off. There's some aerial atoms as well, some open wheeler, open top aerial atoms. You have to wear a helmet for those ones, although the road cars, you actually don't. So, it's the GT, it's a little bit closer now. They are, they do sound. I'm not sure whether the mic picked it up, but that was the Lamborghini taking off. They do look really, really impressive. We get to drive three cars, we get three laps of this track thing, or three or four laps in three different cars. I'm going to go in one of the three Gallardos in the black F430 Ferrari, because that's my favourite Ferrari of all time. And I'm going to do a lap in the R8 as well. I really wanted to drive the, um, the Porsche and the Maserati, but you only get to pick three cars, so unfortunately I had to, uh, to be a bit more decision making -y than I perhaps wanted to. I'm terrible at making decisions and I just had to sit there and think for like 10 minutes like alright what car do I want to drive? So we've gone for a Gallardo, the F430 Ferrari and the R8. The R8 seems to not really make as much noise as the others. I don't know whether it's because it's a different sort of engine or whether there's not as much. It doesn't wheel spin at all because of course it's a four wheel drive. All of the others are, as far as I'm aware, uh, rear wheel drive. I'm not sure whether any of the Lamborghinis have got four-wheel drive because of course they're Lamborghinis owned by Audi now but I'm not sure how new these cars are. They look very shiny but obviously they could have just given them a quick uh, scrub down and a wax etc. The Medina will obviously be uh, just over 10 years old because they stopped producing that in 2005. Uh, where's the F430? The F430 is uh, still at the back. That's probably, I don't know, 2008, 2009 perhaps? I'm not too sure. Oh, well, they are, because it got replaced by the 458 Italia in 2009, so it's somewhere in between there. A lot, some of them are quite new. The Audi R8 looks particularly new, so I'm quite looking forward to going in that one. But, I'll, I'll try and get some footage closer to the cars if I can, like perhaps film me walking up to the car and then getting in it or something. And uh, other than that, I'll see you in a sec. Yeah, Chris, I'm just dropping the kids off at the pool. Right, head for 
ways quicker than they remember the 360 doing. Well, it's banned, only, isn't it? That's only progress. just, but well, yeah, I guess. Thank you. 